What is going on guys, my name is Lewis and we've got some freaking awesome news about GTA 5 on PS4 and Xbox One. We've got a release date now, it's November 18th. Unfortunately for you PC gamers, GTA 5 won't be coming to PC until January 27th, 2015. So there's a, a few months delay, um, but Rockstar have confirmed that the reason they're delayed is just that PC needs a little more development time uh, just to polish off the game. A, delay, a short delay isn't bad, it shows that they really are committed to trying to push the game to the best it can be, because once it's on that disc there's no way of really majorly improving say, the graphics or, or features and stuff, um, not very easily anyway. So it's best to have a delay, but it's only a few months, um, so it'll be a pretty perfect game. There's a lot of extra features on PC as well, so that's probably what they're trying to optimise, get it ready for all the different PC specs and all that. Um, but GTA 5 on the PS4 and Xbox One will be coming on Tuesday, November 18th, so just over two months time. And if you read on the article from the Newswire, Grand Theft Auto 5 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC will feature a range of major visual and technical upgrades to make Los Santos and Blaine County more immersive than ever. In addition to increase, in addition to increased draw distances and high resolution, the players can expect a range of additions and improvements, including new weapons, vehicles, and activities, additional wildlife, denser traffic, new foliage system, enhanced damage and weather effects, and much more. Grand Theft Auto 5 PS4, Xbox One, and PC will also feature enhanced radio selections with over 100 additional new songs and new DJ mixes from returning DJs across the game's 17 radio stations. Now we knew about the radio stations from where Cara Delvin um, put on Instagram that she was back in the Rockstar Game Studio updating non-stop up FM so we knew about that but it's nice to actually have that confirmed that we're going to have over 100 additional new songs hopefully there'll be some of the songs which were cut out of the game that was on 360 and PS3. All players who pre-order the game will get a million in-game bonus cash to spend across Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online so you've got 500,000 GTA dollars for story and 500,000 for GTA Online. A host of new exclusive content also awaits for players returning from the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions, including rare versions of classic vehicles to collect from across the Grand Theft Auto series, such as the, such as the Dukes, the Dodo Seaplane, and a faster, more manoeuvrable blimp. Activities including wildlife photography and new shooting range challenges, new weapons, and more. So, returning vehicles pretty well. One of the Dukes was one of my favourite muscle cars from GTA 4. Um, the seaplane is going back, a lot of people wanting the seaplane, that was in the first trailer and we didn't see that in any other trailer, I don't think, or in the final game on 360 and PS3, and as well we're getting a new blimp, so anyone who hasn't been able to fly a blimp yet, who knows, you it might be your turn now. Um, we've also got enhancements to Grand Theft Online, including an increased player count, with online play now up for 30 players on PS4 and Xbox One. All existing gameplay upgrades and Rockstar created content released since the launch of GTA Online will also be available for the PS4, Xbox One and PC with much more to come. Now, that says up to 30 players for PS4 and Xbox One. It doesn't mention PC. And the reason is, I think PC will have a more in-depth server-based online. I think there'll probably be like 64 players or 60 players for GTA Online and PC because PC can hold it. Um, with consoles, I believe it's a little more tricky to, to get the servers to hold that sort of amount. Um, you kind of look at Battlefield. I think Battlefield on Xbox One, for example, is like 30 players or 32 players on the server, whereas on PC it's like 64. So 64 players, I mean, that might be seem a little a little large for a server. You know, a lot of people in... You imagine 64 people roaming around in, in free roam in GTA Online. It's going to be pretty hectic, especially if loads of people have got jets and stuff. So we'll have to see about that, but for now, on the Xbox One and the PS4, there'll be 30 players instead of the original 16, so just under double. Existing players will be able to transfer their GTA Online character and progression to their choice of PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC. Uh, for more info about getting access to exclusive content for returning players, please visit rockstargames.com forward slash v forward slash bonus content. That also says your choice of PS4, Xbox One, or PC. That makes it sound like you can only choose one platform to transfer your data to. I don't know. That I really hope we get a little bit more information about. Just so I can make it clear. Um, but there's also a new trailer and a ton of new screenshots. Um, I will leave the link of this news white post in the description. You can go ahead as well. There'll be a link for the new trailer called A Picket Fence and a Dog Named Skip. You can 
click both of them, read a lot about the uh, new version. If you want, check all them 16 new PS4 screenshots out and watch the trailer. Both are really epic and I really can't wait for November 18th. If you're looking forward to GTA 5 on the PS4 and the Xbox One and the PC, even though PC is coming out a few months after the new gen consoles, then let me know in the description. Um, let me know in the comments. I always say that in the description. Same thing. Let me know in the comments. And if you are looking forward to it, leave a like as well. Let me know in the comments or through Twitter at I Lewis GTA what your fa what you're most looking forward to. It's GTA 5 on the PS4, Xbox One, PC. What's what sort of new feature are you looking forward to the most? Are you looking forward to the returning vehicles from the GTA series? Are you looking forward to the denser traffic, the new activities, new weapons? Um, are you look just looking forward to being able to play GTA 5 with your PS4 or Xbox One controller? Or are you just generally looking forward to GTA 5 on the new gen because it just looks freaking awesome? So say, let me know in the comments, in the description, the comments. Um, and if you want through Twitter, you can go and follow me there as well. Twitter.com forward slash GTA or just search me at ILOSGTA. I'm pretty, I'm pretty on pretty much Twitter pretty much all the time. Um, so I'll definitely check out your tweets. Let me know what you you think of the new trailer, what you want us, what you're looking forward to in the new versions. And for now, I will see you in my next video.